What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you what to do with a wild horse. A lot of people ask me, what's the very first thing you do with a wild horse, a horse that's never been touched before? So guys, if you haven't seen my video about how to stay safe around horses, go check that out first because you need to know those things in order to stay safe around a wild horse. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is just move his feet around this pen. Now ideally you'd have a round pen for this, but in this case we're at a ranch, there's not actually a round pen here. Now I've never actually interacted with this horse before, um, but it's important for me to establish from the beginning that I'm in, in charge here. So we're just gonna make some pressure here behind him and let him move off here a little bit, okay? So that's good. He's going in a circle here. <clears throat> so pretty soon he's gonna realize that when he does a turn to the inside, he gets to rest for a little bit. So the theory is guys, while he's looking at me, he doesn't work. So here again, I'm gonna ask him, and see he's looking at me right now, so I'm gonna leave him be. As long as he's got his eyes on me, I'm leaving him to rest, okay? So guys, with wild horses especially, it's so important that their hind legs are always moving away from you. You don't want them to face you with their butt, you want them to face you with their face. Great job. So notice right there, he, he moved one step with his hind legs away. So we're just gonna leave him be, let him rest, let him think about it, that was perfect. Keeping him looking at me. Good job. So we got two or three steps, and I don't have a halter on him. Um, we're not even touching him and I got two or three steps of him disengaging his hindquarters from this distance, okay? So that's super cool. Uh, 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 uh. Okay guys, so at any point, if he starts to act like this isn't serious, then I'm gonna make his feet move, okay? I'm gonna let him figure it out. I'm not gonna be mean with him because he's just, he's just learning. There. So as soon as he moves his butt away, I stop moving my feet and I act like nothing happened. I, and I act like I'm not doing anything, just chill here. Okay, there's another good step. There's another good step. There it is again. So he's doing very well now. There it is. And what I'm gonna to start to do is ask him to follow me um, just by continuing to make him pivot like this. So pretty soon he's gonna get tired of turning around. Okay, so. So come over here. Great job. So as he starts to come closer to me, I'm gonna move away from him. Okay, so every circle pretty much we're getting a little bit closer. I might just let him see if he'll sniff my hand here. Okay, sniff my hand. Good job. All right, so then I'll move away from him, which makes him curious, which makes him want to follow me more. Okay, so if he, if he walks away from me, I'll give him a couple of seconds to change his mind. And if he doesn't change his mind, then I'll send him away and make him work, so. Like right there, right there, I'll just tell him, you know what? Let's move off then. So here we'll change directions. Good job. Okay, so then I'll just act like that, that little workout never happened and just continue with my with my work here, okay? So I'll just act like that didn't even happen. And I gotta be careful here because I don't know if he's being friendly because he wants to hurt me or friendly because he actually wants to be friendly. I gotta watch him, okay? Because <laughs> you don't know with these horses that you never touched. Let him smell me a little bit, okay? That's great. That's scary, isn't it? That's pretty scary, isn't it? 
Okay, so if he backs away, I'm gonna retreat with it. I'm not gonna force him to get it, okay? Because now actually this becomes the bad guy and I'm the good guy, okay? So this is what's, this is the new scary thing. I'm not that scary, this is the scary thing, okay? Look at this terrible, scary thing, look. I know, it's awful, isn't it? I think it could probably eat you. It's important to make everything very slow. If, if he's moving away and jerking and stuff, that means that I did something a little too fast, that I shouldn't have done that fast, okay? So, here we go. Good boy. Okay, there's on his neck. He got a little bit upset, but he's doing better. Almost at the place where I can let this halter down over his neck. Good boy. So guys, I'm just gonna go over a quick tip here. If you're working with a wild horse, try not to put your arm or hand in a way that he could bite it. So if you imagine his teeth, um, if your arm is facing him in this kind of direct on angle, there's no way he can bite it. If you're doing this with your arm, you're asking him to just look at that. See, he's already... <laughs> so um, make sure that you're not offering a bite to him because he'll they'll sometimes they'll just take advantage of it especially stallions he's watching that rope again and i keep forgetting that that's dragging on the ground so that's what he's actually scared of <laughs> so guys a little trick when you're working with horses that don't like different sides if you kind of trick them so you do the side that they like and then you quickly switch to the other side and then you quickly switch back they don't they don't really know what's going on and they just get used to it so what I just did here is I, I started to do that because this side he doesn't care anymore and then I switched to this side which he does care and then I switched straight back to this side so it's just kind of going from eye to eye and he's getting used to it which is a great thing now guys you might say well this horse isn't that wild well this is a wild horse he's just a very clever one and if we start to do something crazy he's not gonna He's not gonna just let us do this, but because we work with him and we haven't hit him once, we haven't done anything very mean or crazy with him, he's not, um, he's not scared of us right now. There's this little game we have to play, which is where the halter kind of just swings and touches him. And the reason we have to play it is because the halter has to go over his neck. So as long as you're in rhythm, with the halter, um, it's not too scary for him. So you just have to stay in rhythm. Okay, staying in a good position here. Just see if I can pop this on here, good boy. Just see if I can pop that knot on and then we're good to go. All right, so act like nothing happened. And we'll just come over here, grab this rope. Now remember he was scared of the rope trailing on the ground so I'm gonna be careful to pick it all up and then say hi, good boy. It's okay buddy, it's okay. Great job. Okay, grab this little end here and there we go. So I'm not sure if he's ever felt the halter pressure on him before. The first exercise I'll do when I catch a horse like this is I'll go ahead and throw the rope over his back. So watch, I'm just gonna throw the rope over his back, okay? So there he felt the halter pressure. <laughs> and he's like, what was that black thing that went on my back? So now I'm gonna stay a good distance away from him. <laughs> he's like, the right thing to do is to come closer when the guy gets crazy, okay? That's what we do. Okay, so guys, it's important to keep your hand up by their eye and just throw that rope over them, okay? So. <laughs> so, holding on to the rope means that he's gonna think that that's the right answer, right? Stay a good distance away from him. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna try this side because this is, seems like an easier side. I'm just gonna throw the rope over his back, okay? Throw the rope over his back. Oh, 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 what happened? Did you wanna run away? Oh, that's too bad. Okay, so throw in the rope over his back. 
Oh, that was scary. Throw in the rope over his back. Now, <laughs> just be careful with him because you don't know what these wild horses can do, okay? Two seconds, he can jump on top of me and I don't want that to happen. Good job. So then I'm gonna stop and move away from him. See him snorting there and licking his lips. Okay, so then I'm gonna move away from him here. And I'm not pulling on this rope to keep him with me. He's just volunteering to follow me around because that's what he's learned today, okay? So, good boy. Good boy. Now let's try this side where he was a little bit more scared, wasn't he? So, one, two, just stay with him. Now actually in this case, I think he's looking at me because he he's been learning that today, not because he's trying to be bad. So I might just help him out with the halter and say, nope, you can look forward, not to me now. Okay, so over his back, over his back. That was great, so I'm gonna move away. Let him relax. Number one, get the horse to turn and face you. Number two, get them to be okay with you approaching and retreating them. Number three, start to touch them with the halter. Number four, desensitize them to the rope. Those are the very first things I would do with a wild horse. I hope this video was helpful, guys. I hope you learned a few things about working with wild horses. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.